and distraction during class. Alrighty. Go. Here we go. So, <laughs> last time. So, you all decided <laughs> last to... Last time we decided to watch anime. Thanks, y'all. We'll uh, see you later. Is <laughs> <laughs> so, last time we played... Um, so, you all nice. decided to... Um, Get back on board the Seals Reach to help, or with the help of an enlarged uh, Riel, um, and the crew, and you all began discussing about returning to Asturia, um, to the capital city of Windburn, with a bit of trepidation oh, from oh, Riel. Oh, oh, oh. He, oh, he ate a die. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. About how the people <laughs> will treat it. <laughs> I dropped my D10. <laughs> it's okay, Jordan. Okay. Yes, just, just kill you my dog. Like a it's father. Fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so. Um, Shiloh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, alright. So. Um, with a bit of trepidation from Riel about how the people will treat him in the city, but is reassured by Gohan that he will be protected. Um, and the ship once again sets off towards the mainland. Um, after 12 days of travel at sea, a strange sight is seen falling out of the sky um, in the middle of the day. A meteor was falling straight towards the ship and is on a direct collision course with, the, with, with it. Uh, Gohan uh, took quick action and had the ship move a uh, hard starboard. Um, and within two minutes, a huge rock landed in the water about 40 feet away from the ship. Gohan and Riel make their way to... Uh, to the ship by water, Manfred Vortex warps on, over the rock. Gohan tested the tip of the rock by tossing a piece of meat on it, and within a second, Manfred lands on top of the rock and burns his feet a bit, but as he does, the rock opens to reveal an elven female figure. Uh, after getting the female figure back to the ship, the crew tried to figure out what was wrong with her. They tried everything to think of, and but with a little bit of healing from Thulna, um... The female awoke. Um, she was shocked by what she saw at first, speaking only in Elvish to those who could speak it. She introduced herself eventually as Divine, and she came from the sea and the stars. Um, she had uh, very little else to say and kept quiet and to herself the majority of the voyage back to Winver. Wrong. Right. Um, the group uh, made their way to Lifeblood Keep along the way. A few of the townsfolk... Uh, to, uh, looked at Riel strangely for his appearance, and some women and children cry out, cr cried out in fear, but everyone didn't bother him or the group as they moved through the streets. Once making it to the keep, the group split up among the various rooms. As Gohan headed to the kitchen to see um, what was being cooked for lunch, um, he was stabbed in the gut by the cook, who slowly dropped their disguise and revealed themselves to be an assassin in a green cloak. The rest of the servants of the keep began to also slowly reveal themselves to be assassins as well. Um, you all made quick work of these assassins, but Gohan was severely wounded inside the kitchen. That's why I'm 11 HP. And that is where we are going to uh, pick up tonight. So, Gohan, yep. you are currently... And probably need to change the music just a little bit. Oh. Aha, yes. My death music. <laughs> it sounds this is what I Actually, to. This one sounds better. Uh-oh. So, Gohan, you are currently standing in the kitchen. Yeah. Bleeding out, I believe you also stated that you uh, just began cooking while you were bleeding out as well. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> I'm finishing my um, meal. Alright, the rest of the group. Um, uh, Manfred, Divine, and Riel are in the uh, are in the atrium area. Um, Laura is upstairs. Um, uh, on Bruce, the stairs. Yes, on the stairs making her way down to the main level. Thulna stepped out for a little bit, headed to the pub. to the pub, to the real beagle, and Bruce is upstairs in his room catching some Z's. So, all right, Gohan, we're gonna start with you. Mm -hmm. What are you doing at the moment? Finishing the meal. Finishing the meal. Just holding it and like <laughs> shaking the pan with the other. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll kind of <laughs> go around the table. With um, actually, 
Um, let's go. Actually, we'll do this. So I start with Gohan. So um, Gohan, I'm not gonna make you roll because you're just gonna go at the top of the order. Actually, I think I still have the. I think this is yeah. Wait, was this still the order? I can no, that doesn't, doesn't look. Okay. Um, sure. Why not? Right. Uh, we'll say it will make it a disadvantage at this point. Uh -huh. uh, but I do kind of want to see everybody's initiative. But we'll we'll do a roll initiative to see to because it's been a little bit to kind of get an order. But go on, you don't have to roll initiative. Or I'm just gonna make you I'm first. Uh, you're at the top of the I'm initiative board. Roll. 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 <laughs> For Stop to ask. <laughs> so. Shut your mouth. Okay. So, uh, 25 to 20. What? Yes. Send initiative? Yes. Just to kind of go in order of events. Yes. 20. 3. Oh, 23. <laughs> oh, okay. So, exactly 20. Um, it was 16 plus uh, 4. Okay. I got Old man. No, no, what? 16 plus 6, 22, actually. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Right, yep. 22. I got 21. We have okay. so much. Oh. Alright. Um, Riel, what'd you roll? <laughs> Ooh, 19. 19. <laughs> Laura, what'd you roll? We will find out. No okay. Um, who has the higher decks? Me. I have 3. I have 20. Okay. Okay, yes, So Shiraz is plus 5. Okay. I rolled 11. Okay. Well, fair. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Okay. All right. So, Divine, you and Riel are standing on the stairwell. You see Laura starting to slowly approach down your, your direction. What are you doing? After the assassin, you there are there are two corpses. Two corpses of assassins. Oh, no. You went upstairs. Right? I was up there with... Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. You went up with Laura. That's right. So, no, you... with Riel. With Riel. Did, Riel, did you go to the top of the stair, too? I believe so. Yeah, we were okay, so there. all of you are upstairs. She was more. heading back down, I think, afterwards, because she poked her head up. Yeah, and because I wanted to make sure everyone was okay. Okay, all right, yeah. It's, it's, again, it's been a little bit since I've watched the video. But, okay. So, yes, so. Well, uh, I'm probably just going to be like, after the dead, I'm just going to look through and see if they had anything. Okay, so you're going to search the bodies? Yeah. All right, uh, give me an investigation check. Yeah. Five. Five. Um, you you don't find anything particular. Um, you do notice um, just kind of your um, come on, you thing. Um, um, you don't really, as you kind of just do a quick glance over. Like you find nothing that really catches your eye. Just like uh, basic studded leather armor. Um, and a dagger or two, but nothing really substantial on the body. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna say, your guys' hired help isn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd they try to attack us? Um, well, those were... Are we in the same room? Assassins no, sent different you were still island. downstairs in the foyer. Yeah, to kill us. So if you, I remember... You went and gave him his blanket. Well, that's right. Yeah, you were on your way to the kitchen. To that's right. You were on your way to the kitchen. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So everybody, everybody's upstairs except for Gohan and Manfred, and then um, Thulna is probably on her way back from the Regal Beagle. Yeah, those were assassins trying to kill us from <clears throat> the Green Dragon. She's all the way in the Spring Islands. Okay. Manfred. Um, is there any danger around? Um, you can give me perception or investigation if you'd like to. As you look around. <coughs> name a character danger, so when somebody says that, <laughs> I'm, I'm always know. here. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Danger. <laughs> Rick Danger James. <laughs> He's just a stuntman. <laughs> um, As a bicycle. Mm -hmm. uh, you said what well, were really, my Investigation or perception. A mini horse. Perception, 18. Okay. Um, as you kind of look around, I'm just kind of quickly surveying the area quickly. Um, there's no immediate danger. 
However, um, with that, I would also say, like, even as you are walking into the kitchen with Gohan, um, you do start to see that Gohan has lost a lot of blood. And there's actually a pool of blood that just kind of... He didn't leave my side? I thought he was running away from me. He's at he's over here at the at the stove. You just came in the door, if I remember correctly. So as you look, you there is a Gohan stands at the at the stove, still stirring a pot. But you see him holding his side, and you see that his his clothes are just stained with blood, and there's a fresh blood uh, pool on the kitchen floor. Um, and it does not appear to be from the from the, the green cloaked assassin. No. Not me. Probably shallow. Oh, it leaks. Um, what can I do to help the man? Yeah. I'm claiming it if it's mine. Yeah, it's probably shallow. Um, I it's don't think... I, I don't have any healing spells because I'm a wizard. But I will give you my lobster from oh. from below sea. I still have that. Yeah. <laughs> I tossed it on the... <laughs> you tossed it on the thing? <laughs> Add yep. a lot of butter. It's a little yep. lean. Right. I uh, think it was breakfast he was making, right? No, lunch. Oh, lunch, okay. <coughs> I, I just stay with Gohan, realizing that you shouldn't leave a wounded person <laughs> yeah. very astutely. All right, Thulna, you are coming back I in. Um, as you As you walk through the front door... <coughs> on um, the stairs, you, you see bodies. <laughs> you, see two, you see two dead bodies on the steps. And you also smell um, food and cooking coming from the... food coming. The smell of food coming from the kitchen. Lobster. <coughs> <coughs> Relax into the kitchen. <laughs> okay. And you see Manfred standing next to a very injured Gohan. I'm dying. I'll cure wounds, yeah. If you could just explain what's going on, that'd be great. I got stabbed. Cure wounds. Cure wounds. Cure wounds. Yeah, 1d8 plus sure. Do you actually have a spell book? Yeah, she does. Thanks. Or the ranger? You gave it to me. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Olivia has one. Thulna doesn't. <laughs> I, I technically don't. I'm not a whant. Uh, two. Five, seven. 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 You, almost you could pass level. for one, yeah. though. <laughs> Just get high off my and right. conjure frogs. Uh, Laura. <laughs> you reverse are age. Scared. Yeah, you're kind of a witch. Yeah. Thulna, right? <laughs> bit, I'd yeah. like to okay. search and <laughs> see if there's anything drugs. from the green dragon. Right. Give me an investigation check. You yeah, checking you the, you checking the bodies or are you checking something else? <laughs> I, I just remember. The bodies first. <laughs> I okay. remember seeing the post of the guy who stole like since they were sent directly of from frog her. eggs from ponds and just raised them. And he's like, I got an army of frogs. I'm gonna fight the government. <laughs> That'd be so weird though if I it woke was up one day. It was so funny. Oh, God. Sixteen. Sixteen. Um. One. So as you are kind of like investigating the body, um, you don't uh, looking for anything um, for description of the um, the green dragon. Um, you do find um, a as you're looking through, you do find a small rolled up piece of parchment with a little bit of a leather twine around it, with a um, solid green sigil stamped over the twine. Hmm. I'm going to take it out and look, try and look at it. First, I want to see if the stamp is, well, I guess, magical. See if it's... Okay. Um, do you have a... Oh, gosh. What's oh, that spell? Let me see if I do. Tech, I, tech tech yeah, identify. Or identify. Or identify, yeah. There we go. I'll cast identify on it. <laughs> or dispel. <laughs> Possibly. Or dispel, yeah. Um, so, okay, so you cast identify on the, on the, on the piece of paper. Um, it does not appear, it does not glow of any magic. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna open it then. Alright, so you crack open the seal, unwrap the twine, and you unroll the parchment. Um, and as you do, you find a, um, or you find written on it, um, all of your names, um, <laughs> Including the new people. Um, no. You, so, but as you look through, it still it mentions um, Sir Evan and uh, Fluke and Kellogg. Um, I just realized. Oh, you use that. Never mind. But Fluke's name has been scratched off of the list already. Oh. Ow. What a bunch of angels. So it's a hit list. 
Mm-hmm. But the other names you read are Thulna, <laughs> your own Gohan, and Draxios. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I, I thought it listened. I was like, hey, good look at him. Look at him. Is it scratch his your name? <laughs> oh, and I guess, yeah, Orion as well. Yeah, Orion would be on there too. Okay. Is that all I, said, I, find I know it's the first name on the list. Is that all I find on yeah. there? Uh, also, okay. with instructions of where to find you all um, specifically, and even, and as you kind of even go through and look. Um, there's even a little parchment that kind of rolls down off of it, and it has a very well-detailed map of the keep. Oh, shit. Um, hey. <laughs> I ver- I took <coughs> your eyes out, Divine. There might be more hiding somewhere. Right. Uh, with that, real. Hey, Laura, can I see that piece of paper? Yeah. He eats it. <laughs> 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 Barbarian do it. Barbarian do They know every single layout about this place. I'm looking on it uh, for any signatures. It doesn't have to be a full name. It could be dressing in letter kind of thing. A front kind of thing. Um, at the, um, just a second. Um, at the at the at the very at the very bottom of the letter, you do see in um, kind of an embroidered um, big green R. Four. Raid shadow. Are you? Do, I, I'm sure that you know many, but is there any peculiar R <laughs> names that come to mind? Trying to remember her name. She had a name. She said her name. She listened. And I trying to remember her name. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make this a role playing opportunity. We're gonna make you roll a history check. Hedgehog. <laughs> Hedgehog cute. Hedgehog cute. You remember her Hedgehog name being Rotra. Cute. Rotra is her name. Rotra. Almost said Rumstillion. <laughs> <laughs> Rumstillion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we must hunt down Rumstillion. No! <laughs> Thank you, Mama Lord. Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, think we should group up and discuss about this and or we move on from here. The, I know that will be safe much more than Mander. The last I checked, we need to find Gohan and Solna and see if they're all right. Yeah, but we'll start uh, doing roll call. Roll call. Uh, go on! A roll call, yeah. Well, you could, we could always go check the kitchen. I mean, I'm calling their names while walking, but yeah. Okay, so you guys are making your way back down the steps? Shouting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, Gohan, you hear shouting coming from upstairs. Mm-hmm. That you're, it's Riel shouting for everybody's names. I'm <coughs> down here. Bork. Bork. Hearing, uh, bork, bork. Bork, bork, bork. <laughs> hearing the uh, groans from Gohan, uh, I'll dash over to the kitchen. I would definitely say, though, um, you being a lizard folk, you definitely smell the blood just coming from the kitchen. <laughs> you also smell cool lobster. <laughs> I'll run down as well. All right, so, yes. Divine, are you joining them? Okay. All right. So okay. everybody's in the kitchen. I'm not running. Um, Bruce is still. Um, as far as you are aware, Bruce um, is up in his room. But other than that, you He's have not seen his face. Oh my gosh! Uh, is it okay if I, after that, head to his room? Just yeah, like run up there because that. if he's asleep, that's a I pretty can easy thing to fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Did you? Did you get assassins after you too? Maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's just bleeding out of his side. Yeah. No, the I'm completely unarmed. Did this to myself. Same. Uh, yeah, Course no, he, he, yeah, no. Uh, he well. survived. He's fine. 
<laughs> be vigilant because there might be more hiding in here. Look, and I'm gonna hand you the paper. <coughs> Uh, I would so the <laughs> It's a hit list, I'm sure. and I, I they know the yeah. entire layout of this place. Did you? This sigil. Do you recognize it? Okay. It's the green dragon. That's what I was thinking. This sucks. <laughs> the guys upstairs themselves said green dragon sends her regards. Oh, well, we'll send our regards right back. You call her the B word. Yes. That'll show her. <laughs> She'll cry. <laughs> I, saw I met yes, two of them on the stairs, so. Oh. Is everyone alright? So far, I think Rhea wants to go check on um, Bruce, because I haven't seen him since we got here. So, Rhea, you head upstairs. Um, and start knocking on doors frantically, I'm guessing. Yeah. Because you have no idea which one's Bruce's room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you Bruce is dead. Um, you keep knocking on and just opening doors. <laughs> He's um, going upward. <laughs> eventually, eventually you do come to, um, you do come to a, uh, into a room with a, um, I believe he, didn't he scratch yes, on he the did. door? Yeah. Yeah. A big He's door with a scratch mark on it. Um, and a, and a little bee kind of carved into the wood. And as you open the door, um, you just see Bruce just kind of sitting there, um, writing in a little journal, um, kind of snickering to himself, like, hey, 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 hey. And his parrot, <laughs> and his parrot just kind of squawking and talking to him, like, he's telling, he's telling jokes to the parrot, and the parrot's humoring him. And then the parrot pulls out a knife. He says knock it's... knock and then the parrot says knock knock and he's like, No, you're supposed to say who's, who's there. there? <laughs> <laughs> you say knock knock. No, that's not it. <laughs> knock knock. Knock knock. Knock knock. Knock knock. No! I closed the door. <laughs> what? I ask, are you good, Bruce? Uh, yeah. My way. <laughs> Why? Oh. Everyone's dead <laughs> downstairs. Attacked while you were taking your nap and your writing. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, that sucks. <laughs> anyway. You wanna, wanna join us down in the kitchen? We're probably gonna be discussing plans from what we're doing. Uh, yeah, I guess I better. Crikey. Oh, I have a question uh, for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, knock, knock. <laughs> She's saying a dumb joke, I might hit you. <laughs> <laughs> but who's there? <laughs> Alright, it's not time. Alright. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, she is there. I'm like, is that, is that Diane? And then she moved the look up. <laughs> 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 Alright, that's it. Alright, so so eventually, um, so I'll let you guys Alright, so back in the kitchen. Yep. What's going on? I'm cooking. You're so good. I rolled a sixteen by the way, which is like the highest meal I've ever <laughs> And I did help him by giving him a lobster. <laughs> yep. From his home uh from Draxios's homeland. I'm yep. gonna cast healing word. Okay. Keep what? Hmm? Okay. She said she's rolling for oh, okay. healing words. Gotcha, gotcha. And I rolled a 16 on my meal. Roll 16 on your meal? Yep. That's what the disadvantage is. healing. Oh. I'm going to say because you're injured. 16. Alright. I. So, you get um, points of healing. Yay. surprisingly, you're able to make a pretty decent meal. For being half dead. Yes. And having a rotting lobster in your food. <laughs> yeah. Is it rotting? Yeah. Uh, how long was our trip from nervous to uh, here? Three months. I yep. <laughs> I told I'm sorry, you. Plus we'll, more like, hey. we'll say I salted it. So, 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 then, so, so eventually, um, Bruce and Riel come into the kitchen. Um, 
Yeah. Bruce is still kind of looking at like reading his joke and go, Hi, I got a joke. Sorry, I know you said you're gonna hit me, but I think you got I think you're gonna like this one. What is it? <laughs> what did the horse say after it tripped? What did it say? Help, I fall and I can't giddy up. <laughs> no, he's not here. He's like, stabilizer. He takes 10 damage. <laughs> no! That was a good one, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. That was a good one, Bruce. Just his back up. Oh, no, I thought he was going to say that's a good one, and he reels back. And uh, sorry, <laughs> good one. I'm sorry, good one. He's reeled back and slapped like Jonathan. Disappointing Pat. Disappointing <laughs> Pat. <laughs> I can get more of a disappointing pet. I thought it was good. Well, all right. <laughs> oh no, it was funny. It was just... <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> mean. What's that? Oh. Okay. So. He is so good. Be like when you get to hit your boss without getting fired. No. This is what you do. <laughs> Not necessarily. So. What do we <laughs> plan on doing now? Seems like they're fully aware that we're not just in the city, but we're at it currently. And if five assassins didn't work, though, it might send much more. Oh, yeah, she's really good at doing that. Out of curiosity, um, out of the bodies that we investigated, were they the same uh, race? Yeah. Um,. Uh, uh, there's two bodies. In, there's a body in here we can check too. Jonathan does have marks on his face. Um, I would say him. like you, you would kind of be able to to pick up on the thing. Um, there were um out of the four, um there was um there were two humans and two elven, um, assassins. Okay, I was just curious. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Do you think that they killed all of the servants that were here, or maids? I would only assume so. Then maybe they're all I think they the sent basement. them away. Maybe they're tied hmm. in the basement. I think we should make check out the <laughs> entire keep before we even think about doing anything. There could be more in hiding, and we might find I... the maids and butlers. Hopefully I alive. Suggest at least for the night we don't stay here. You're just giving Is them there... an opportunity to come back. Yeah. Well, we can't and, and we won't be here when they do come back. But to prepare for the ship, we have to grab our belongs belongings. Belongings. Then we'll grab our belongings and go. Yeah. Bazinga. Okay. Is there any other safe place in the city? Mm. Hotels and stuff. <coughs> they might hotel. find us no, there still. We can go to the Regal no, Beagle. Day, yeah. We know the person that's at the counter pretty well. Okay. But first let's I'm sure. check this place out make sure there's that was all of them. So we don't get murdered here as a group. Okay. She usually likes to send them by the law. Investigate the uh, the property. Um, I would say so. Okay, so I just need to know like where everybody's going. Uh, I'll just simply go room to room, checking closets, and then the beds, basically. Okay. I'll just um, check okay. So I'll say as you are, as you are, kind of, because I'm. Are you guys staying as a group, or are you, or are you splitting up? I'll go with Rio. <coughs> I'll go to my own. Also, we gotta split up, okay? Yeah, let's split up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I have Rio. So I just need another group. So Rio and Laura are sticking together. Gohan. I'm searching the basement for dead right. bodies. And you guys are going upstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, is anybody going I'm with going Gohan? With him. Okay, Manfred's yep. going with Gohan. Divine. I guess uh, I'll go with the old guy. Okay. And Thuna. I guess I'm going alone. Where are you going? To my room. All right, Bruce will go with you. What? Okay. Well, you're technically going upstairs, which is where 
Thulna yeah. and Riel are going as well. Not Thulna, Laura and Riel are going. They're all going. They're going upstairs. Okay. okay. So, all right. So I have four going upstairs and three going downstairs. Uh, okay. Um, as the four of you head upstairs and start checking uh, room by room, um, Thulna, you specifically go into yours. Um, nothing seems to be amiss or awry um, in the rooms. Um, they they all look tidy and neat. Um, and basically like they have been untouched. Uh, you don't find anything um, out of the ordinary um, other than kind of they're exactly as you left them, just maybe a little cleaner than you left them before. Is this what? <laughs> <laughs> um, the other three, um, as you make your way down uh, to the basement, um, you notice that uh, most of the lanterns, except for like a couple of them, are are put out, and there was only like maybe one or two, and it's a very dim light down here. Okay, I'm gonna check the only place there is to hide the bodies. The water closet. Okay. The water closet. Yes. Where you had your pool. Yes. Okay, so you check the fountain <laughs> or, the, or the well. Yep. Um, and as you kind of, um, are you putting any light source down there? Mm -hmm. or Okay. Yeah. So as you put down, as you kind of like hang out um, a torch and just kind of look down, yep. um, you just see, a, like normal, just a, a flowing river of water. Dang it. <laughs> you gotta check all the basement. I guess they're not here. You are there any, are the there, basement. Yeah, are there any of them um, other places to check down here? I mean, there's four rooms in the basement. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's, there's like Draxios' the, room, mm -hmm. there's the storage room, there's the armory, and there's the training center yeah. where your guards slept. Manfred, we'll, we can split up. Uh, don't, don't do that. No, yo. You're still wounded. Okay, <laughs> we'll check the armory. Alright, so, um, you go into the armory... Um, roll me investigation checks if you guys are checking around. Nineteen. 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 Ninete
Um, Gohan and Divine, uh, you notice this first because Manfred's kind of in a little bit of a rage and tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. You notice that as he's tossing things, there seems to be some things that are not going as far as they should. Like they're th being thrown across the room and like they're hitting something and then falling to the ground awkwardly. Uh oh. Invisible. What'd you say? I'm, well, I'm, I'm gonna touch the invisible. Okay, so, invisible. so as they say that, you see Gohan go up and touch um, something, and as he does, um, they're just his hand just stops, and he tries to push, but it doesn't look like his hand can go any further. Or it's just it's like... It's in the middle of the room. Middle of the room. Then how, how did I get to the other... Because there's an art. Because there's stuff all along the room. Okay. No, you're good. So when you walked in, you're like, "This room doesn't feel right. Something is odd about it." My elderly, my elderly senses are tingling. Mm -hmm. I want to go um. back. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. <laughs> I was like, "What's that fluff?" Oh, it's his head. <laughs> you know something I don't have? Something useful mm -hmm. for this That's particular awesome. thing. Can you identify it? Man? No. <laughs> I don't You're think magical. so. Um, well, I'm sure I could, just not at the moment, because there are certain spells that I've memorized. Um, yeah, I don't think I could stop it. Unless it could take damage. Then yeah, I'm just going to firebolt the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you blast it. And as you do... Fireball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you watch it hits. It. I'm aware. You're, you're, as you point, it go, and this little streak of um, red just kind of comes out of your finger and goes, Poof. it hits this, and, and you see the barrier kind of ripple, and then close back up. Oh, did it go through? No. It or just kind of, like, it hits it and then dissipates, and there's a small ripple of energy as it flows. <laughs> <laughs> New idea. <laughs> I'm going to create constant damage and somebody needs to go through. <laughs> I don't like this. Create bonfire <laughs> on, the, on the wall. Okay. So yeah, so you create bonfire. And, a five foot. Yeah, um, it's just a little flame. Yeah. Uh, you create a bonfire <laughs> on the ground. You can see within range. Fills a five foot cube. Yep. Yep. Okay, so we have this... And it starts to... So again, just this wave of ripple of invisible energy as the flame just kind of... It doesn't open, just you see this ripple of a wave of energy as it just kind of... No plan. <laughs> and then eventually the bonfire dissipates. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if I actually have uh, spell magic memorized. I don't, I don't have it memorized at the moment. I'm trying to see if I actually have it, have it. There is someone in your party who does. You would know, I know that? You would not know that, but Gohan should know that. Laura. Nope. No. What was it? I thought you'd done it before. Bruce has it. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't have it. That was my next one to get. Gohan knows that. Yep. I'm gonna... What level spell is this whole magic? Three? Three. Dang. It's kind of up there. Oh, you've done that yet. Mm-hmm. I can recognize that it's magical. I can't do anything about it because I didn't take the spell magic yet. I need to go find Bruce. He's upstairs. Um, am I able to do the little thing, tattoo thing, and ask if everyone's saying is all right to go mm -hmm. on? Yep, you can. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so sending a message through your tattoo to go okay. on. Uh, yeah, we need Bruce. Bruce's expertise. What'd you find? We found a magical portal, but it needs constant damage. I will be on my way. Bruce. Yeah. Follow, please. All right. They found a oh. barrier downstairs in the basement. Follow, oh, please, like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, uh, come here, boy. <laughs> Let's go hunt them down. Throw you against 
the wall. Opposing <laughs> charisma <laughs> checks. <laughs> <laughs> I demand it. Alright. All right. So, um, I'm guessing the rest of the group Come follows. On, we know if we're <laughs> Alright, so as you all make your way down to the basement, you eventually um, see uh, one of the doors is opened. Um, and as you kind of all file in, you see um, Divine, Gohan, and Manfred standing in the middle, or near the center of the room, kind of staring at this invisible barrier of a wall. Yep. Didn't that used to be, a, like, that wall specifically be full of, like, our good weapons? <laughs> used to, but then Manfred tore it up. No, the wall where the barrier is at. So it it's looks it looks completely translucent. Like the wall the wall you can't even see the wall when you come in. The only reason why you would see it is like if Gohan went up and like flicked it yeah. and you see it kind of ripple a little bit, but other than that it looks translucent. Like it's not even there. You got um something to get rid of magic, Bruce? I'm having your last twelve. Okay. No. I have I have another twelve pack. I'll be having this. Uh yeah, I can get rid of that. Thank okay. you, Bruce. Um, let's see. What new instruments does he pull out? We got the two steps. We're gonna have fun. Do you have any stuff? He should have. Okay, man, where are you? Do, 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 just because it's funny. Um. Oh yeah, so he's gonna pull out his his ocarina. He's gonna play a little diddly, and as he does, um, he's gonna cast dispel magic. And let's see, I believe. Okay, and his. All right, and he's doing it at third level. All right. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so, as he does this, you see this magical energy come out of his ocarina, yep. and as it does, eventually, um, you start to see this um, invisible barrier just start to dissipate and disappear and fade away. And as it does, um, you see um, the rest of the room starts to reveal itself even more, um, and the light starts to shine a lot brighter in the area. And behind this invisible barrier, um, you see um, your your maids, your housekeepers, your cooks, um, everyone that you have hired to um, work and keep to keep um, ship shape while you were gone has all been tied, bound, and gagged. More into a group. Oh wait, no. <laughs> You're all alright. Thank <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'm gonna immediately me. start untying them. Yeah. <gasps> We're so glad you're back. How long have you been down here? Uh, at least a week. What? <laughs> you're, you're alive after a week of not eating or drinking. <laughs> it's been very hard. Don't worry, I've just made a big meal. <laughs> we, you may all feast. <sighs> at least we see it's a week. We don't know. What? What? We don't know how long we've been here, honestly. We could have been here for days. We don't know. I'm just glad you're alive. <laughs> Seems the green dragon overtook our fortress. They know the exact layout of this place. That would make sense. I mean, they showed up when we thought they were you. Oh. They disguised themselves as us? Yes. That's not good. I, mean, I did not see a clone of myself, thank you. Well, you're new. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> That's I a good question, that but I want to know who are you. Um, I asked you first. <laughs> Those are diplomacy check. <laughs> Those are wrong system. <laughs> servants are like maids and butlers and cooks. There are caretakers. There are staff members. There are they won't stab you, I promise, like the cook did. There are roadies. Roadies. I mean, the cook The three of you had an entire staff wait after you? <laughs> well, there's more than that. <laughs> I mean, the cook might get feisty and stab you, but that's okay. 
I would not. Uh huh. Quit your belly aching. Quit your belly aching. Um, well, let's get them upstairs so they can have food. Right. <laughs> How many did you see? Uh, like four or five, maybe. Okay. Well, I like we got them. Yeah, it seems like we got them all. Because there was the cook. There was two attacks. We, how many attacks um, you, Riel? Uh, there was just the two of us that Divine and I killed. So there was two of them with you guys too? <coughs> Three of them. And I yeah. snuck up on one and, and catapulted a dagger into his head. Oh, you had three of them? Yeah, because there was the two on the stairs and then the one upstairs. Yeah, that was the one for me. We're missing one. No, I think we got some. Mm -mm. We're missing one. I killed one. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. I did. You did? I killed the chef. Yeah, yeah so there was one. I, on I snuck up <laughs> behind and, and I catapulted yeah, that the was dagger. With the, that that was the three with us. There was the chef. <coughs> missing one. There was one missing. <laughs> we had three. There was a chef. He, they claimed four. So there was one more running around. It wouldn't be too far fetched that there was one to. Did one attack you? Make sure no, that she was gone. weren't already here. And then possibly left. Could be even actively doing errands right now. They don't have to be here currently. True. We'll would just be on our guard. But it does mean. We didn't check the rest of the basement, but. Nobody knows about the situation here. They probably do know at this point. Their assassins are dead. Well, there's still two more rooms to check down here. I'll, uh, I'll walk over to the next room, Jason. I would like to, to check the other room, uh, not his room. <laughs> okay, well, there's three other rooms. There's the armory, there's the storage room. So, you guys are in the armory. Mm -hmm. There's the training room, there's Draxios' old room, I'll go and the there's training the storage. Room. I would go to the Draxios room. And okay. I'll do what armory? The storage. Storage, yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. So, Laura, as you walk into the armory, or not the armory, the the training, the training facility. I have a dagger ready. Um, as you walk in, um, <laughs> I would also lights, like to have a dagger ready. The light, the lights are low. I have my blunderbuss ready. <laughs> um, the lights are low. Um, but as you kind of uh, look around, uh, nothing seems to be awry. Nothing magical catches your your glance. Everything seems to be fine. Hmm. Okay. They're not hiding behind a door. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Manfred, as you walk into the um, what are you doing? Draxios's or what you would Oi. assume to be Draxios's room, uh, you see, uh, you just get as you open it up, you get this really. Oi strong smell of of ocean. Ocean. An ocean like an ocean breeze through the room. Ah, smells <laughs> like home. <laughs> um and not seeing any other rooms, uh this room is fairly plain. Um like not a lot of high amenities or Man, anything. what a dump. <laughs> um, but as you kind of are investigating around um, you don't notice anything out of the ordinary from a regular, what you would assume be, to be a bedroom. Is there anything um, searchable in the room? Uh, I don't remember. I don't think you kept anything in the room, did you? No. Okay. I not even a bed. It was a net. I go back. Yeah, it's just a hammock net between two pillars. All right. Uh, Riel, <laughs> as you. Oh, Riel, as you walk um, into the storage room, um, you see a bunch of crates and boxes and barrels. Just can I, can I take the net? It's not a hammock, right? It's a it's a net. Like it's a, it's a an net actually, net. yeah, it's like a net net. Can yeah. I take it? Oh, my own personal uh, also, uh, curiosity. Uh, is is there like an oak barrel? Um, I'd like, say yeah. Like there's different wooden barrels, yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> One that specifically looks like a L casket. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, there's ale caskets, yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, so, yeah. There, I as you roll one out with me. <laughs> yeah, no, as you're looking around, yeah, no, there's, 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 um, this is basically food storage for Gohan in the kitchen. There's ale casks, it, there's apples, oh, there's, yeah. Is it still, or is it rotten food in there at this point? Um, most, it's, it's all fresh still. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, they probably haven't been any longer than a week. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Anyway, roll a barrel, a bell, out. So, um, as, as all of you come back into the, the main area downstairs next to the well, um, you see Riel walk out of the room with a giant cask of ale on his shoulder. Um, you see Manfred holding a fishing net, and Laura coming out. I'm stuffing it in my back. With the dagger <laughs> drawn. Yeah, okay. Alright, standing in the basement and near the well. What we do. Well, I haven't found anything else. Let's go feed the stuff. Yep. And make sure they're all taken care of. Yeah, they're not. I 100%. would suggest it's not my position to do so, but send the sap away. Unless they be danger to even more. After they, no. After they're taken care of. No. We're like I said, it. after. Yeah, yeah. trying to. We have this thing. Not a bad idea. So. All right. So, um, you all head upstairs, um, to the kitchen and the dining hall, um, um having a. Bountiful feast that Gohan had prepared. As bad as Bob. Um, and I'd say. Um, we didn't ever check outside. You said 13 we, to. We HP to I came from outside. Brian, <laughs> yes, I believe it's. Yeah, you all gained 13 temp HP. <laughs> I kind of want to ask <laughs> you a question, but not from yep. everybody else. Yep, so everybody's going to gain 13 temp HP. Yep. Oh, nice. Yep. <coughs> Yeah, we didn't ever check outside in the pool where our literal mini bar was, or the shrine oh, no. thing. They, they would have come to the rescue if, during the fight. Still doesn't hurt to check. Because we could be followed. I'm gonna go check. Okay. Since no one else will. Alright, so I'm you... Going, yeah, no. Okay. Alright, so Riel and Laura, you make your way to the back courtyard um, with the pool and the garden um, as well as the uh, temple to Otra as well as the shrine to Ymir. Um, hmm? Give him a second. Sorry. I can't read text messages and talk at the same time at the moment. Shame. 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 Give him a second. <laughs> Is this what our children are going to be in, like in the future? <laughs> no. <laughs> so. <laughs> I do you like that. <laughs> So, That's why I chuckled earlier. <laughs> I was like, hmm. <laughs> so okay. So Riel, as you you and Laura go and check um, the courtyard, um, there's nobody in the pool. Um, there's and as you make your way to the shrine of your mirror, uh, nobody has um, nobody has um, seemed to disturb. Um, the, the shrine um, and as you make your way to um, to the temple of Otra um, you do find a rather strange looking package and box just sitting outside the front door it's a box. of the temple I'm gonna would you like me to open it with my axe from the far rather than you personally? No, I'm going to cast identify on that. 
and see if it's magical to the touch. <laughs> All right, um, you cast identify, um, and it does appear to be magical. And let me <laughs> pull up the stats. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> bomb. <laughs> A magical bomb. Well, call it nuclear. Uh, Welcome to Eberron, the Rising War. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, and it does appear to have a uh, spell of protection on it. Hmm. Another protected Just, from. So you can't get into it, is what you're saying. I mean, you can. Well, just um, has a protection spell. I'm on. just going to pick up the box. Does it do anything? Um, as you go to pick up the box, okay, good. Nothing happens. Uh, let's finish checking this place out, and we'll take this to Bruce because I can't open it. I don't have a way to remove the spell on it. I mean, we can open it, but I do agree. You won't be able to open this one. It has to be a removal spell. Did you you said it was protected, but you didn't say it was locked. <laughs> Ooh, good observation. <laughs> we're we're gonna take it to Bruce whenever right, we're like finished. So agree on that. <laughs> Just in case there's something important. It has protection from creatures. <laughs> Anything in the um, inside the temple? No. Okay. And everything looks... else outside looks fine. Yep, everything else looks fine. Okay, well, we're gonna go take this to Bruce then. All right. So I'm making your way to the dining hall. I would mm -hmm. like to follow the box. You didn't come. follow the box. No, oh, but I'm, I'm assuming I'm still in the dining room. <laughs> yes, as yes, you yes, everybody in the uh, sitting in the dining room eating, enjoying their meal. Um, you see Laura and Riel walk in, and Laura is carrying a box. I like to follow Bruce. the box with my eyeballs. <laughs> what? Would you be so kind to possibly what? remove the magic off of the box? <laughs> if I must. I'll break it down. <laughs> Again, the same magical diddly as you as the <laughs> diddly, 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 diddly. Um, as, you, as, you, as you watch the 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 magic um, like barrier pr uh, disappear around the box. I'm going to carefully open it. The box appears locked. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I can <laughs> fix that. <laughs> I will lockpick it then. You have lockpick tools. I have a dagger. Okay. It's worked before. All right. <laughs> In my uh -huh. game. <laughs> it's a sleight of hand check. Yeah, that, that's that's a definite. I'm getting it open. Maybe. Maybe. Seventeen plus eight. The lock, does not, the lock does not lock. Mm -hmm. Let me see the box. <laughs> I can open it. Oh, you guys, guys, there's a, it's a wooden box, right? Do not break it. <laughs> Why I, not? <laughs> I concur, but let's not be what? heathens. How about this? I break the lock, not break the box. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> Okay, what are you can doing? I take the wait, blood wait. end of my well, axe? It depends yeah. if he's doing something while I'm, right. I'm okay. try, trying to convince them otherwise. Well, I'm just, okay, so right now Riel has the box in his hand. He's taking it from Laura. Manfred, are you doing anything to stop him? I had considered it. <laughs> okay. But guys! Well, are you saying anything? Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps um, the dominates person. <laughs> oh, no! I wouldn't do such a thing! Uh, I, I take my staff and I take it on the ground and I go, Open! Yeah. <laughs> cast knock. You cast knock. <laughs> you hear what? a loud knock yeah. and it opens. Yeah, so, so as, so as, so real, as you grab, <laughs> as you grab the box from Laura, Open. and you hold it, and you're, and you're getting ready to set it down, and you hear this loud, 
And as you do, the box just goes. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> Let's go. I'm visibly upset. <laughs> I, I am visibly uh, enjoying this. I am just kind of like. Uh, Right, what's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know what's also in the box. Um, as you Coupons. as you open oh, do do as the box me? opens, uh, there is a there is a um a a, a small, small black orb. The heck? <laughs> Maybe don't touch that. <laughs> I cast identify. <laughs> How many spell slots do you have? One more. Goodness gracious. It's a first level spell. Identify also doesn't have to be used with a you can cast it as a ritual. <coughs> you can cast it as a ritual. But she isn't spell. stating as a ritual because that takes 10 minutes. That's true. Or an hour, depending. It's, it's uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah, I 10 minutes. Is, for, is for identify. I'm um, not waiting 10 minutes for something to be identified. Alright, so as you, as you cast identify, um, it is similar. You, you, you get the same. It's the same. Um, it's the same type of object that um, Kellogg had in his study. It's a seeing stone. Oh, but it's seeing not stone. I did bring it with me when we left, like at the lighthouse. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Kellogg still had the one that was in his study. Yep. His was green. Okay. No, I remember you still have. Yeah, I remember you, Kellogg, specifically saying yeah. that he was taking it with him. So much loot on both sides. Am those I bodies, able <laughs> to touch it and see what I can see over in the Spring Isles? I, I tried to prevent her hands. Okay. From doing that. All right. Um, I'll need initiative checks for both of you. I'll just do that. How are you doing that? Are you cutting off her hands? No, just holding her, her hands back. What's your initiative? Well, I'll need initiative. I have a twenty. I have a twenty. Wait a second. Something else. Is what well, did you say you were doing? Okay. okay. Which All right. So. Um, as, as you're, as you're looking down at it, you see Laura reach out and try to grab the stone. Um, Riel, you attempt to stop her, but you are just a tad too slow as Laura touches the stone and, event and immediately falls unconscious. <laughs> and with that, I will need everyone to vacate the room. Uh oh. Yay! No! Yay! No! <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh, right. why is I'm so gonna happily deafen my stone so I can't looks. hear anything. I can. <laughs> Don't you <laughs> lip read now! You mute it. Muted. Muted. Yes. And I will give you a thumbs up or something. Yeah. Where's the. Where's the. Where's the. Or just turn your volume all the way down on your computer. That works too. <laughs> All right, we need something. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, shit. The dog scared me. <laughs> I didn't know he was here. So, as you touch the orb, um, you feel your vision um, go to another place, and as you sit there and you think, um, your body becomes light and motionless, and <coughs> in the distance, you hear a thundering storm approach and as it does you hear a voice call out it's a very unfamiliar voice it comes with a low roll of thunder and the voice says I'm watching You are not the one I'm looking for. 
I seek an audience with the one who calls himself to be a green knight. But I don't see him with your group anymore. I wonder why that is. But curious to find that you'd be the one to look at the stone first. I do admire a curious one. We will be watching you with most curious interest. And just know that if you choose, there could be something in it for you later. Choose to do what? Why? Become more powerful than you are now. Are you his god? No. But something far more interesting. So you're not Rotra? No. Hmm. Rotra is small in comparison to me. Hmm. She thinks herself a queen. While I am much more. So are you a god? Oh, gods, mortals. Who needs titles? When power is much more effective. Especially the power to determine the fate of those around you. You're... Are you going to do something to my friends? No. But I'm very interested to see where you all end up. And maybe we will meet again one day. Well, what shall I call you? Hmm. You can call me Dinah for now. Okay. I think that would be a little more appropriate than anything else. Okay. Don't mean any harm? Mm. We'll see. Fates. Destiny. Is a strange thing. Can always be twisted. And turned. And sometimes... that your vision fades when the storm subsides and you wake back up in the room. Is everyone just staring at me? Yes. Guys! What? You guys can come back. I'm definitely like sweating bullets right now. <laughs> okay. What did you see? Oh, oh wait, wait. Baby. No, what did you see? <laughs> <laughs> Who did you see? Who did you meet with? Where did you go? N not everyone's in here yet. <laughs> I will never forget the time. What up, gangsters? Get out of the way. Boulder and Grand 
touched orbs of light in my underdark cavern of madness. <laughs> no hand has touched on me. Yeah. The biggest uh, of it. God, don't close for aid. Why? Does it still smell like fart in here? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> His gasoline is the ultimate fart. Is it in my hand now? No. Okay, cool. Sorry. <coughs> I'll take this now. When I am Levisha. Did we lose Dylan? Uh, for a moment. Oh. I didn't see her at all. It wasn't her at all. What? Who did you meet? I didn't meet anyone. I met a storm. A storm? What kind of storm? And there was a voice. What was the voice? What did it say? <laughs> Speak it. Well, the voice is interested in, was interested in Evan. Mm-hmm. And was very curious on to me being the first one to pick up the orb. What? Ooh, it was expecting Sir Evan to pick up the orb. It was expect expecting him. It's not his god. It's not any voice that I've recognized before. Did it sound sweet like molasses? <laughs> no, very or opposite. Sour like rotten cabbage. <laughs> They did give me a name to call call it. I don't recall telling if it was Wonderful. female or male. Is it Cthulhu? They told me to call it Dine. Di Is that what you said? Dine? Diane. Diane? Diane? <laughs> what? They told me to call it Diane. A creature that requires a white girl name. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Her wait. Like, what? Wait, 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 I'm sorry. No, she's cool. That Diane's dope. This one, what is this? I require you to find the sign. <laughs> okay. and and my name's pretty boy. This <laughs> Diane said that Rocher was a mere speck, basically, in terms, considering power. And that power and fate is everything to this Diane. And then they're intrigued on where we go next. It sounds and that like maybe a... we would meet. But it's all based on fate. Mm hmm. Yeah. Where did it look like she was like? There was a. I didn't see anyone. There was just a storm rolling thunder, and then the voice as it was thundering. Thunderous voice. What would happen if I touch it? Don't touch it. <laughs> Turn to powder. <laughs> it's up to you. Mm. We turned. It's all very confusing. I'm gonna take a cloth, probably just a kitchen cloth. We could always yeah. just put it back in the box. It was still yeah. in the box, because you went to go poke at it, right? Huh? You went to go touch it? I touched it, yes. That doesn't mean removing it, did you? No. So it's still in the box? Yeah. Oh. Just close the lid. <laughs> I'm gonna close the lid to the box. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in the bag of holding. And forget it. Baby. What are you laughing at? Because this is an idea. No, uh, Mysterious or and or just people expertise and possibly eldritch and or godly beings. They didn't consider themselves a god. They <laughs> said a god is just a title. Sounds more like But what matters more is power. Because I asked if they were a god, Celestia. and they said <laughs> no. <coughs> I'm not well, a god, man. I still might be, still will be worth considering who this person is. All Somebody they... might know of this origin. Possibly. 
even figuring out who sent us the box might tell us a lot. Well, there was no address on the box, so I can't find out the sender. No zip code. Well, you could, but I doubt any of you know the spell word. Do you? Uh, uh, asking not around the house service. Did you the box about, right? arrive while you were here, or while, um, before you were captured, or do you know anything about this box? That's what I'm trying to ask. Uh, the... Uh, yeah, um, that box has been here for for a while, like a couple months. Um, did, did you see who delivered it, or no? Any notes? Uh, there was there was a small piece of parchment on it that just said "deliver to Sir Evandale," and that's all we had. You have the parchment still? Um, uh, no. It wasn't on the box. No worries. Mm. I'm not hurt though, so I'm okay. Mm. <clears throat> Just a little shaken up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I put it in my bag of holding. Okay. In the box. In I, the box. <laughs> as much as I hate to. Uh, going to the kingdom here, but is there any academy, a royal academy or somebody that would know of bizarre artifacts like this one here? Uh, yes, but I don't remember if they're in the city or not. They're not in the city, are they? No. I can use my background feature of learning law from any location. <laughs> Which I will do. <laughs> Can I do that? Um, yep. That's in Lucita. There is one person that has a shop that I know of. And he seems to be pretty powerful, so. It um, says, whenever I attempt to learn or recall a piece of lore, if I do not know that information, I often know where to and from who I can obtain it. Usually it comes from a library, scriptorium, university, or sage. So it'd be a history check. Of like who I would need yeah. to talk to? Yep. <laughs> to be fair. So what are you trying this to... This could hinder me because I, I, I'm I unfamiliar with like the local area. Yes. Because I snuck aboard a ship before I, I was both... So, so you're ship. trying to attempt the who is talking to her? Is that what you're trying to... Um... Or... I was more, more of like the artifacts, like like who would be able to. Oh, okay, gotcha. Tell us more about the artifacts. In artifact. this area, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what, history already, check? Yeah. I already told you where. Yeah. You said you knew of one person. Yes. Well, that will just make it better as you're saying it. I'm also going to say it. 26! You had to be the 25. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, yeah. So, you've heard of this uh, strange um, golden lizard folk that has that lives in uh, Lucita. It has a little uh, little magic shop. Uh, he's, 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 he's an estranged lizard folk, unlike most. Um, he does not look like Riel. He looks more dragon-like than lizard, but uh, I see. everyone assumes that he is a lizard folk, but everyone kind of, just kind of, because he's different, and he's friendly, um, most people pay him little to no mind. <laughs> so, right as she's about to say the information, I'm gonna say it. Yeah. Instead. <laughs> and, then, and you know his name, it, it's rumored that his name is Yarlin. I, I believe there's a, a a golden foreigner by the name of Yarland who could tell us about this. Yes, he's in Lucita. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know him. Oh, you do? Yes, we uh, do. I was Adventure. just about to say that. Why do you think I know the location? I, I don't know, <laughs> to be frank. Would you guys agree it might be a worthy endeavor to head that way? 
I, it's unsafe here. Well, I and would... frankly, I don't want to be in the capsule. I would definitely let the mayor know what has gone on over here first before we leave. So they can keep an eye out on members of the town or city just in case something happens. She could send more. A lot more. And they could do more than stay here. So I think it'd be best to alert the mayor first, and then we take our leave. Well, well, each assassin we kill is one assassin she has less of. <laughs> she has an army. <laughs> and you have a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> To the mayor, I'm going to strangle you. So you could try. <laughs> Whatever, old man. I sense. I do suppose <laughs> that our tensions are high after trying to be attempted to assassinate. Think we should stay calm-minded and just address the situation as is. I just say things. Doesn't mean I'll do them. Doesn't mean I won't. I say things and I do them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference between you and I. <laughs> the only adds to the tension. Let's just head where we need to go. Over here. <laughs> Teleport you to a different plane. I swear, maybe you'll shut up. Alright, so. What we doing? Where are we going? Well, I'd like to go try and see the mayor. And let them know before we take our leave. Just in case something happens while we're gone. Because it is a pretty nice hike to Lusita. Are there any areas near the mayor's office? Like, what are, was the town layout? Um, Isn't the mayor's <laughs> office the, like, the governor and or king of the kingdom? <laughs> I am the mayor, the governor, the duke, and the archduke. <laughs> what can I help you with? I'm just being the one in charge. Yes, no, he is. is a, yes, he is the he is the highest seat of the council. Just making sure. Yes. <laughs> we say mayor, but we mean king. <laughs> Where is it at? Is it? Would it be in the the this? It's the keep. I thought that's where we were. That's Lifeblood Keep, but there's the main keep. Lifeblood Keep is down there in the corner. Ah, I'm dumb. Okay, I see. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm cool. Any of work. the closets, probably in the armory. Is there like just a cloak I could take? Um, yeah, just a standard right. cloak. Uh, I'm gonna head to grab that so I can put yeah. on it while we're walking. Do yeah. we want to send all the? Staff home, go yes, home. Yes, we do. Okay. To keep them safe. Alright. You all are dismissed to go back to your families for the time being, so you don't get further harmed. I'm alive. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Mm hmm. Um, they all kind of quickly gather their things and start making their way out and home. Um, as I you. I would consider grabbing all the food, go home, so we don't have it wasted. And we'll put it on the ship. Yeah. So as you all um, as you all kind of like gather your belongings or little knickknacks and things that you want, um, um, and as you step out of the keep and make your way towards um, the Windvern Keep, um, you know the it has been several hours since you've been home. Um, it's probably it's closer to. I'd say probably about five, almost six in the in the afternoon, almost evening time, um, as the sun has started to set on the horizon, um, and just a this beautiful uh, orange and reds glow um, the, the afternoon evening sky. Uh, making your way through the city um, again as it is getting closer to sunset. Um, 
the streets are not as crowded with people. People are starting to make their way uh, home. Um, so after a few, after about an hour of travel, um, you eventually do make it to the steps of the keep, um, where you are um, stopped by a couple of the city guards um, to inquire. Um, getting kind of late, don't you think? Um, we came here to report an incident that happened at the keep while we were gone and thought we would let the, what would I call this person, the mayor? He is the mayor. The mayor know about this just in case they send more. Have you noticed any odd behaving townsfolk recently? Um, besides an old man brushing his beard? No. <laughs> I don't have a comb. <laughs> we were, there was assassins in our keep when we came home and they tried to kill us. That's interesting. Um, yes, probably definitely want to report that. Um, do Is you he have available? any? Do you have any evidence of the of these murderers? I have a box. this parchment parchment paper with a hit list on it and the layout of the entire keep. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, yes, I think. Uh, uh, and the bodies are still in the keep. Oh, uh, would you like us to send some guards to collect them? Uh, we yes. don't. Yes, but <laughs> be on guard <laughs> just in case there's more coming. How many bodies are there? There's Back. three. Three. Cool. We will send fifteen guards. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth one got away. We couldn't find it. No, because there was the two at the stairwell, the one up top, and then the... One in the kitchen. The I, kitchen. I thought there was three. There was four bodies. <laughs> they told you four to five possible assassins. They did not know. Yeah. It was all very quick. Uh, <laughs> well, with the, with the possible murderous intent, yes, we will send 15. I think that should be plenty to carry the four, as well as keep an eye out on anything suspicious. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes. Um... I think the I think the mayor and the council are getting ready to go home. At least the council members are. The mayor, of course, will stay here. But uh, yes, uh, you know where the council chambers are. I, I trust mm -hmm. you can make your way there. Where are the council chambers? We know where Follow they're them. at. Follow them. They will know. They've been there before. All right. And kind of turns and knocks on the on the door. And the door opens in with a with a few clicks and bolts, and the door is open, and you Thank can you make guards. your way into uh, the keep. Okay, I go to the council room. Uh, I'm I won't enter the keep. So you're just gonna stand outside? Yeah. Okay. Um, one of the guards looks at you, the other guard, because um, the one leaves to go get the the other ones to go check it out, he kind of looks at you and goes, Huh. You're different. Yes. Yes, I'm fully aware. <laughs> Uh, are you gonna eat me? No. No, I won't today. Bestow butter. Still help me. That's what you're gonna get fun. tomorrow. That might change. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, you now have one count of a, of a promised murderous intent. <laughs> I'm gonna just like pull the hood cloak over my head a little bit more <laughs> as a clear indication of like, you don't need to talk to me. <laughs> yes, a seven foot tall hooded figure is not suspicious at all <laughs> in the dead of night. Anybody else staying outside, or is everybody following Laura inside? Um, I kind of want to go inside. Following. Actually, no. Yeah, no. I'm I'm 100% going inside. Okay. 
So, uh, Thulna and Riel are staying outside. Everybody else is going into the keep. Um, as you make you okay? your way to the yeah. um, the High Council chambers, just to make sure I have all the names correct. Alright, so uh, where'd it go? Where did I put it? Lo siento, so many notes. to use your massager. And it's kind of hard to hit the center of your back with it. Even Ask your, your mom. Your back yes. hurts. <laughs> so. No. <coughs> Do not. There it is. <laughs> okay, so you enter saying. into the high the high chamber room. Um, you see Mayor Aiden Gardner um, sitting in the center, again being surrounded by uh, four other individuals. Um a dwarf female, male elf, female human, and another human male, um, Mayor Aiden Gardner, being a half elf male. Um, they're all just kind of sitting there discussing, and as they see you approach, um, uh, Mayor Gardner uh, kind of looks at you and goes, Ah, oh, you, you, you have returned! Yes, we have, and nearly got killed. Indeed. Well, that's ironically normal at this point, but okay. We just came to report that we were attempted to be assassined by... Assassinated, you mean? Yes. Got it. <laughs> How did assassins get into your city? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We will ask the questions here! <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Shabby God you must have. <laughs> He's with us. You do know I can have you arrested just for being annoying, right? <laughs> That'd be lovely. <laughs> we'll consider it. Now! What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be jealous. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, assassins were in your keep mm -hmm. and tried to kill you all. Yes, we dealt with them before. They're from the Spring Isles. From Her name's Rotra, but she's a green dragon. Oh, that's terrifying. We just came to let you know to be on the lookout because she might be sending more. Your town is next. We don't know for sure. Don't have a way to contact her, nor do we intend to. Have, have, the, have the assassins harmed anybody else in the city? In this city, we don't know. We just arrived today. <clears throat> and our um, staff was tied up in the basement. They seem to be targeting only us at the moment. We were on a hit list. Interesting. Here is a list of the names they had to murder and the entire layout of the keep they had access to. Oh, yes. Um, definitely recognize these names. If you can show me that um, you can take care of a snake, we can get a snake. However. Gross. I'm not coming over. I know. It's okay. However, um. I love snakes. <coughs> um. I don't recognize the older gentleman with you or the. Um, <laughs> I don't recognize elven, you. Because you woman, shut up. <laughs> the other elven woman with you. Um, they're new. They are mm -hmm. new. We found them. Or the. On the sea. Lizard dude. We have oh, a outside. lizard folk outside. Unfortunately, Orion, Kellogg, Fluke, and Sir Evan have <laughs> passed. We have lost them over the seas. Well, that's... Well, that's hard to hear. Um, now we picked up a couple friends on the way. What was his name? Alvin Gardner? I feel like they fell Aiden. on the ship. Aiden. A-Y-D-E-N. Well, he did. It'll kind of just... 
manhandled. <laughs> and then he is mayor of Windburn. Windburn. He's an elected official. So are the other um, council members. Okay. There are reasons why I'm asking. Yeah, I know. And Draxios is also no longer with us. He's not dead, he's just back at his hometown. City. Home castle. The, the sea elf. Yes. The one that likes eating fish from your fountain. The annoying one, yes. You don't have to restock anymore. Yep. I'm not there. He went <laughs> back home. Home? Um, what, what do you mean by home? There were steam vents underwater. Oh my god. Shut up for once. I'm, I'm telling him! <laughs> okay. What, what, what? His hometown is down in... Where's the reef? What's the reef's name? I can't read it from here. <laughs> Cold water reef. No. The lucid depths. The yes. lucid depths. Yeah. Yes, we, 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 we knew that's where the sea elf city was. Not 100% sure where in the depths, but yep. there indeed. Well, he went to go back to rule his kingdom, so. He was a prince. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look good on us. <laughs> Wish we would have known that. We didn't know either. Oh, this makes things interesting. Um, we the, just the, found out that... Just, just yeah. a question. Does he like to hold crutches? <laughs> no. Not that I know of. I'm, I'm curious. What did you do to it, the, this prince? <laughs> the same thing I'm going to do to you. Are you royalty? No, he's uh, not. You wouldn't know, would you? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Oh, please arrest him. But I, I will take have my a chances. nice show with this tonight. <laughs> This would be the highlight of my day after getting killed. Almost getting killed. No, we don't have a habit of locking up old people. <sighs> Thank God. Dang we it. do have a retirement home if you would like. It's, it's free tapioca on Tuesdays. What's this funny is at first? That's weird. It's free tapioca on Tuesdays. I can <laughs> sign you up, <laughs> Raz. I can sign you up for the retirement home. You I'm, can. Completely go there and I'm be all senile all from, you want. I'm far from senile, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My character over here only looks young. She's still like 50. She's like, that well, that young at five. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that aside, um... <laughs> I just love making people look on their toes. It great. sounds definitely like we need to double the watch effort tonight. And possibly even for the next few days to root out any possible issues. Mm -hmm. um, we sent home all of the staff there just in case whenever we go to Lusita to visit a friend there. Just in case there's any people that decide to show up. We didn't want our staff to get hurt. Again. Yes. Again. And we will definitely keep a close eye and guard <laughs> on your keep as well. Um... This is, this is very strange news indeed. Um, Please be very cautious. They love using poison. That would make sense. Um, now, you said they're from the, the spring, spring owls. owls. Okay, so that... Hmm. Alright, well, they definitely don't have any dealings with the thieves here in the city. Um, <gasps> and as don't know if you're aware, but that network has definitely been hard to try to root out as well. Um, their organization seems to be growing, and I'm hoping that <clears throat> their organization and the one you are speaking of are not connected. As far as I know, I don't think so. Okay. She's... Merely after us so far, as I know. And she just likes power. Interesting. Yeah, she does. She's collecting rare relics as well. Mm -hmm. And has one of the uh, the halves of the, the light bulb. Mm. Oh, that's not good. We need to get that. <laughs> Wait, the what? The, the fleece. <laughs> she has half of the fleece. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of it. 
ancient I've region. heard stories, but I've never... Is it real? She has one piece to the three. Two. You also clarify three. out game. It's, it's one piece to the map to find the fleece. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or it's one piece the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> As, as kind of like you're just talking about this, you just see all of the council members' eyes get really, really wide. Uh-oh. Um, as they all kind of look and be like, they're, so they, are, <laughs> they, are, they are stunned to beyond belief that the story and the legends of the Fleece of Lifeblood is even possibly remotely true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was in possession of our friend Draxios, but he likes women, so... That's how she got a hold of it. That's not how it went down. Uh, That is exactly how it went down. We have a dragon hunter. And your your previous crewmate is a dragon lover. (laughs) How did that happen? He wasn't on ship whenever Uh, that appeared. (laughs) Dragon hunter was not on ship. (laughs) That is a really funny coincidence, though. Yes. Welcome to my crew. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> she had a big butt. <laughs> she did. Can I buy it? <laughs> that... I'm not gonna make a joke. <laughs> I'm... No, don't. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh, this is definitely... Su- <laughs> surprising <laughs> news. Are... Is your group trying to find the fleece. Uh, well, at the moment, we're <laughs> trying to avoid anyone from ever having the fleece. Yeah, someone like her, especially. A lie to I could definitely see how that would be We don't want issue. it to get in the wrong hands, is the thing. That's I why we were trying to find it. Did not know a dragon had two pieces of that. That's she very concerning. One. Oh. She just at has to circle one. it. Okay. At least one. We know that she has the circlet. We don't know if she has the other one. And if she did, she might find it. But we don't know if she has the second piece. <clears throat> Very interesting indeed. We do not want her to have that second piece. No, that, that does not sound... I mean, honestly, if the legends are true, then anybody with the fleece would not be a good idea. Mm-hmm. That's only. why it needs to be locked away when found. I think we are in agreement on that. However, <coughs> the possibilities also are tempting. No, evil. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying... Why no, we're not I'm not there, even. but... I'm not <laughs> saying I want it. I'm just saying that... You're yes. quite an interesting individual calling a man evil in his own town, his yes. own city. <laughs> He's not calling him evil, it's just... The possibilities are interesting as well. Someone could could wish to do great good with the fleece. It doesn't have to be used for an evil purpose. It could be impossible. (laughs) It could be used to change the wealth of many. Don't tell me like that. Yeah, such power is too powerful. <laughs> Balance. <laughs> That's basically. You have the infinity gauntlet. <laughs> but definitely keep a lookout. She might send more. Well, we will definitely double the guard tonight, and probably for the next few days, make sure that the patrols are regularly throughout the city to try to locate any suspicious. Intent. Um, thank you for this information. It is rather late, though. And yeah, we've been keeping you from our, your families. We apologize. <clears throat> no, it is fine. Um, this is dire information and some surprising information as well. Um, but yes, um, do you require an escort to Lucita? We should be okay. Yes. We handled the four there, barely, but we got it. Alright. I appreciate it, though. Um, well, if, if you are in need of 
safe to you tonight. You are more than welcome to stay here in the keep and set off in the morning, or if you would like to make your way there, then I wish you the best of luck. We got a good meal in next week. Do you want to cocaine bear comes stay out. or do you want to we'll make need the go. Show. I think the cover of night might be in our favor. Okay. Me. <laughs> yes, my queen. We shall go then. No, we'll wear this exact hoodie. What? Yes. We I'm gonna go. wear my bear hat and little bear. <laughs> we bear bears. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So, um, so you all are are. So there's council. All right, the two who are standing outside, Thulna and Riel, are yeah. you are you doing anything while you? Because the guard is basically you've kind of shown little interest having a conversation with the guard, so he's kind of backed yeah. off a little bit. Um, but Th- um, Thulna and Riel, what you doing? If anybody told us to the keep, say this again. I said I'm looking for anybody who wanted to follow us to the keep. Any. Just suspicious eyes, kind of thing. Okay, uh, you can give me perception or investigation, your choice. It is a twenty-one percent. What? Twenty-one. Yep. Um, as you kind of like keep scanning the horizon and the streets and kind of just the overlook, um, you're not you you did not catch any suspicious trail. Of anyone who is trying to basically keep tabs on the group. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now, are you doing anything? Standing there. Just kind of standing there. What? So, for you sent out here for? Isn't these for people? Uh, <laughs> I'm also. Are you staying out here? Because <laughs> they are not my people. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes and no. They're lovely. Sometimes. Sorry. Sorry. Not the main. <laughs> I want to call them. She let you RP. Let her RP. Yeah. In peace. Thanks so much. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah, they, they are my people. I've, I guess I've been here long enough. Sure, yes. I worry about our city a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Good talk. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> you appreciate the company. Yeah. Smoke my pipe. Are we walking out at that point? Well, I'm seeing if they're having more conversation. Or just smoking pipe and looking. Are we going to the pub after this? No. <laughs> well, you don't know that. <laughs> Us? I mean, I brought the... I... Actually, do we have a cart with us, or are we just carrying ourselves and our belongings? You're just carrying yourselves and your belongings at the moment. Okay. Then I would not brought the cake of L, sadly. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, I have the same idea. Like, <laughs> just drinking. Like <laughs> anyone who like has multiple weapons, you're literally carrying an armory on yourself. <laughs> uh, Dalton from the first campaign. That was ridiculous. I, I have one, one of everything. He did. <laughs> I choose to use my bow. You're a barbarian. <laughs> Smash like, something. I shoot with my bow. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. All right. So um, about about forty five minutes go by. Um, as you two stand out, uh, Thulno, you smoking your pipe, and Riel, you standing ever watchful. Um, the, the remainder of your party come walking out of the keep. Um, it's about, nah, it's, I'd say about 6.45, 7 o'clock. The sun has definitely gone down at this time. And night has begun to to set. Alright. Ready to go. I'm gonna just go be doubling the guards and keeping watch of the keep. And they now know what Rotra has you told from them. Draxios. You told them about the dragger? Yes. <laughs> they seemed awfully surprised. Mm. 
bitch. What? <laughs> <laughs> he said it's not me. I was just there to explain the assassin. Nothing more. Mm -hmm. I think we should start heading out while the night is in our favor. Heading out to the ship? Lucita. Lucita. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it still be possible to travel by ship? Mm -hmm. Do you want to um, walk an hour back? Do we oh, want to sure. walk three days? Yes. <laughs> Okay. How long is it by ship? <laughs> in the I feel ship, like we you have could probably. Find <laughs> ship. So, okay, so from the keep to the ship, it's only a, it's only about a, maybe a 15, 20 minute walk to the docks from where you are. Yeah. If you walk, if you walk from Windvern to Lucita, it's going to take you a day. So, um, 12 hours to get there. Yes, the ship is a lot shorter. And the ship will yeah. take you'll you'll make it you'll maybe make it an hour or two okay. if you go by your ship. If you yes. go by one of the ships. <laughs> Wait, we don't know where Yarlin lives. <laughs> He's not going to be at his shop. Sounds um, really close by this time. I think it'll be nice to walk for once. It's getting late. So? We are tired. He said the night will work in our favor. Bruised. You do realize I have a hut. I I just don't see any reason why we ought to walk besides Indeed. That's the a long beauty? Question <laughs> <Yeah, all right. laughs> Beauty? What is that? <laughs> um, I say to the ship. Well, we're whatever. The ship's more confined. I think walking outside would be better. <coughs> if you're seasick, you can say that, and if necessary, we can go by land. But... I'm not seasick. I'm just saying perhaps more of these assassins await on your ship. I was talking to Laura, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very old man of you. <laughs> I just, I just I, like walking I like there it. because it's a nice stroll, and it's different. Before we had to be stuck on the ship for months and months. We're not really on a tight schedule at all. That would be seasick. <laughs> You don't know if she's on her way here. I think. No, you didn't tell I us. Yes, you did? Yes. Did it start out with the assassins? The Our manor burned down. If some guy, some person walked up to us and she said she was expecting me. Uh, I don't know what it was about. It was when I took the shroom. Oh. Yeah, we're on a time schedule. So why are we going to Lucita again? To identify the artifact better. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. maybe where it's from, what it's for, kind of the purposes behind it. And okay. who this dying is. I mean, if we're is. quick about it, let's be quick. Yeah, it'll only take an hour to get okay. to Except mm -hmm. Whatever. Let's not dilly-dally and go check out this item and then get to go and eat this dish. Smoking the pipe. Aggressively. <laughs> But you are I was right thinking before, the same thing. Still be diligent, diligent, they wanted to strike us multiple I places. I literally went Popeye 2 2 when you said smoke. It's whatever. Yeah, Alright, it's Tuesday. Quick. Post haste. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you're heading to the docks? Yep. Yep. Alright, which ship are you grabbing? A small one. <laughs> Anyone that's not manned. <laughs> No, I'm not <laughs> stealing the ship. Stay intact. Alright, so right, Grand <laughs> Shandy stays boys. docked. Yep. Jumping on the seagull's reach again. Arousing Dimavin from his sleep. 
<laughs> As you're growing a beard? <laughs> There's no time to explain. We're setting off. I'll explain on the way. <sighs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Good to see you too, dude. <laughs> right. Round. Yes. <laughs> Man, your thing? stations. <laughs> Man, down the what's it? What's that thing spinning? Somebody should stop it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, and the ship is off again. Yep. I'm just going to go. S- a few Six. hours. Yes. A few hours sail. Nope. At the tip of the ship. Okay. Just well, looking up. You mentioned that you've been here long enough that you suppose that things are your people now. What does that mean? A traveler travels. Hey. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a traveler of travelers, but I do have a home. Where's yours? Or at least where it was yours. She gets real quiet and doesn't respond. She, yeah, she kind of just looks... I'll, I'll stay quiet, too. I'm standing right in the room. It's like, okay, I'll just watch the scene. Okay. <laughs> totally best. <laughs> Archer, you learn your lesson. <laughs> That's what you get for putting your nose at the business. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is our yes. So, all right. I'll, I'll tell you one. So, day. the couple hour journey, you do eventually make it to the the port city of Lucida. Yes. What does it look like? Uh, I knew you would ask. <laughs> <laughs> what well, is that supposed to be, Andrew? I knew you would ask. <laughs> it is easy to read. Like a comic book. Manfred hasn't been there. Tell <laughs> me, oh, in this Lucifer, is there any flower shops? <laughs> <laughs> There's a. Can I, can I roll for flower shops? Like, isn't there, wasn't there a. Crystal, do you remember if that place had a flower garden? Uh, the council has a royal garden. Um, I don't remember. Ooh, where did they go? Why did they run? Why did Jordan ask a question and then run away? You'd be surprised. He's a child. Mm-hmm. He's not a child. He's just scrambled it. He scrambled brain. Scramble brain. I rephrase. Man child. It makes you sound like oh. I should be in prison. <laughs> I don't know. You pedo. I call him man child. I'm like a month and a half older than him. It's alright. It feels weird. <coughs> I knew he would ask. And then we're not. Yes, and then we're not. Like Anyways, Manfred, as you walk into the <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> I'm doing a shot. Oh, sorry. sorry. You better be sorry. Oh, no, I He's trying to make sure he doesn't so, die. Anyways, just to remind everybody, so... It's a joke to you, but it's a fear of mine. It's a, it's a fairly small, small. condensed city, um, but there are... Um, I don't I don't remember if I ever gave you the full description of Lucida or if I ever showed you the map, but there's technically four districts. Um, so you have the dock side, there's a southern district, there's a northern district called the Great Valley, and then the middle is the old district. Um, the old district is where you've generally been staying. Um, uh, actually, no, uh, Sarabin went to the south district, that's where he got his armor made. That's right. Um, but in the old district, that's where you done uh, did most of your... Um, things, that's where the Regal Beagle is, that's where the brothel is, the general store, um, that's where Yotham, Yarlin's store is as well, um, so, um, it's, it's essentially a, what would be considered a port pirate city, um, so there's a lot of merchants, and, yeah, Mm -hmm. Yeah. the strange characters, so, think Tortuga from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, you, you Anything notably magical as we approach? 
Um, in the city itself, no. Real has never visited the city. Does he see other lizard folk or? Um. Does he his brethren? I would say no. On fight. Not not on the streets, basically. <laughs> yeah, not on the streets. That's where the ladies are. Freaks are in the sheets. Uh, then he'll keep his, uh, he'll don his cloak while oh, walking oh, through the, the streets. The floofies. So. Gotta keep, uh, we gotta catch up so on the So, are there any, like, main defenses, like a wall or anything like that? Nope. Noted. <laughs> Manfred will come back with his army of frogs and take on this. <laughs> yeah, no. She has a frog! Manfred is slowly just becoming Urza. <laughs> uh, you joke about that! I'm not an artificer. <laughs> but, yeah. but you joke about that. <laughs> uh, that was good. What is this city? Lucid. How do you spell it? L-U-C-I-T-A. L -U -C -I -T -A. No, it's behind you. Behind you? What? What? L U I C T A. What? what? Uh, On the marker board. Small port city, Ireland shop. Please forgive me, I forgot. Oops. So. Look at that, you run. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> it's about damn time. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, yeah, so the small, so the small port city. Um, but as the ship arrives, though, the city is definitely a little more lively than Windburn. There are still people out about the torches are bright, and there is definitely activity even at this late hour. An 18 year old man singing sea shanties. Yes. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> and there are several no. drunk people in the streets. <laughs> It's in here, very well. <laughs> All right. Well, this is different. Yes. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> you always actually log in here. Ah, it's it's a change of pace. <laughs> Have you ever been here before? No. <laughs> and why are you talking? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I can. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> Captain, why we're here? All right, we're identifying an object. Yeah, that's right. It's an orb. We're all about that. Should we yes. Stay? Should we stay together or should we um? Get the nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. On the first day. <laughs> I think we've earned a, a rest. <laughs> I want to <laughs> see about this orb. You you say this? <laughs> yes. As soon as you say rest, do not. Bolts the, the pub. Yeah. Right. <laughs> to the regal beetle. <laughs> More. <Okay. laughs> I follow. Since I assume uh, Yerlin's shop is closed until the morning. You don't know unless you try. True. I'll go there. I am interested in the orb. I will also follow. Yes. I, will, I will go there to the, the Yarlin. Since... Is the whole group going, or is... Well, we can't leave the the magical That's the only one in the pub. You'll find me! <laughs> yeah. I'll be here all night. A bit of kind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did so. I've, seen, I've been seeing a lot of uh, Vietnamese TikTok lately. <laughs> I can't help it. Sola has become Asian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I absolutely... I love my Asian customers. They're great. Green, green, green. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, my love. Like, <laughs> love I'm it. still Josh Cole. So... Alright, so you make your way through the docks. Um, the majority of you heading to um, Yarlin's shop in the old district. Uh, Thulna, knowing your way. Beringer. Very well. The Beringer, hello. Hello. Making your way uh, to, uh, to the Regal Beagle. Um, uh, <coughs> so Thulna, as you walk in, it is a uh, lively... Lively uh, bar scene, uh, drinking, games afoot, um, and just kind of, you know, and the the lovely dwarvish this man behind the bar. What can I get you? 
two pints of ale and your fermented mushrooms, please. <laughs> That's right. I thought I knew you! Yes, guys! <laughs> Did he see her last time when she was old? Yeah. <laughs> I like, nah, I like yeah. you know? <laughs> you must be the granddaughter. <laughs> you you do look familiar. I have fairy mushroom from another land. <laughs> it made me look younger, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> After a hundred years, yeah, no. Ah. What? <laughs> I think I caught that. Two <laughs> pints of ale! And let me see. Mushrooms, right? Fermented. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Five gold. Five? Lad, I'll give you 20. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> shop um as you approach the shop um there does not appear to be any any lights on inside the shop yeah. oh. tomorrow yep in the morning that's when we'll have to come back until then might as well enjoy the nice way To the Regal Beagle, um, you already see Thulna. Yep. You know, halfway down <laughs> with a pint. Yep. Um, sitting at the bar, and as you all walk in, you do see the dwarvish um, bartender. I'll look at you and go, like, "Hey, my hey, friends! I haven't seen you. Today. Haven't seen you in like." <laughs> <laughs> Your first day is on me. Hey. 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 Oh, she's like, oh, 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 you look, you look batshit crazy. oh, 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 Hey, Riel. Uh, did you ask my name, Lauren? I did. Okay. Yeah. I challenge you to a drinking game, sir. <laughs> well, let me get my drink first. Can I get a large can of Starbell? Yeah. <laughs> what? Large mug. I said can of Starbell. I didn't say mug. Of what? Oh, can of Starbell, and then you turn into a mug. I didn't hear ale. I didn't hear ale. You said I'll do a you say, large <laughs> mug of ale as well. How how big is it? Um, is it? The height of the mug is it like this height or even bigger? Those are uh, the, ooh. Those are the freaking no, the no, German ones. Sixteen ounces. <laughs> it's like I'd I'd say it's about it's about a twenty four ounce mug. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Big okay. dope is engraved on the side. <laughs> My midget brain's like, well, 24 ounces. <laughs> the afternoon drinking kind. <laughs> Don't just watch this like, Come on, old man. What do you want? I see it in your eye. Ah. Uh. glass of Chateau. Rock. Ooh, la, la. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Try the grog. Information. <laughs> While we're <laughs> here, we can get he your gun fixed. Yay, I might uh, be able to help you. The real While we're here, we can get your gun behind, fixed. Uh, Manfred is like, we'll take the second one. 
I said information and then you said he'll take those names. He still puts a nail behind you. <laughs> oh, that's a touch screen. It's, got, it's, it's a touch screen. It's a touch screen. screen, yeah. Oh, it's a touch screen? I'm sorry. I didn't know either until you touched it. Yeah, yeah, it's wow. a touch screen. <laughs> so. Hold on. Information. What are you doing? Comb Andrew's hair. Comb <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> hey! 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 <laughs> you said you want information. You can't the information you want. <laughs> Find what? <laughs> <laughs> You've been quiet this whole time. <laughs> That's how divine works. <laughs> Technically, um, she's uh, above us all. Apparently. I'm kind of interested in. Well, like I don't know. I don't know anything about this city. So just well, tell tell me things. Well, all the things. It's a trading city. People from all over come around. And they're pretty colorful. Don't ask him too many questions. You might get stabbed. Just throw that out there. What and but, but right. it's, used to it. it's a good, it's a good group of people. You'll never find the greatest crew if you're looking to sail these fine seas. Now, I will say, if you're looking for a little bit of adventure, we got the board over there. You can find yourself some gold. You may even find yourself some little bit of treasure. Don't know. You never know until you try. But. It's a pretty open city. Laws are a little bit eh, loose here. Loose. And, I mean, I know you're old, but you still look like a spry chicken. Spry chicken, yes. Spry chicken. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I was going to ask you. You fancy the ladies? Uh, yes. Ah, <laughs> then you definitely want to go see what? Uh -oh. Madam Kaya. She's oh, got God. the finest ladies in the city. If you know what I want. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Yes. <laughs> I second. I will. Oh, noted. Didn't you, uh, sure that this cruise droning started this very city, right? No. Windburn. Drake. Was it Windburn? It yes. was. That's where they found me. Hey, no, I'm sorry, did, well, the crew was <laughs> in the journey. <laughs> All the crew is from here, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very fascinating. Anyway, to the drinking game, Laura. My first point already fit. Can I have another on top of the second one I already have? I knew I liked you. Yeah! <laughs> you want me to start you all tab? Yep. I have I've not touched my drink yet. <laughs> yeah, I will cool. say, I think we'll need at least five more drinks between the two of us if we're doing any drinking. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Wait, doing a drinking game? Uh, where is his one drink currently? Four more for me. Four more. Four more. Four more. <laughs> 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 on, on, on mug. <laughs> Can I do that? Is yeah. that possible? Yes, please. Absolutely. So, Riel, as you are as you are just holding this first mug, you feel oh, your hand to the table. <laughs> 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 All right, fine. You're holding the table. It goes from whatever, whatever size it is to one size larger. Yeah, I know. So as you are holding, are you where, okay? In relation to the mug, where are you? Like, where are you? I mean, if it has a handle, I'll hold it by the hand. Okay, so you're holding it, and as you hold it, you feel your hands start to loosen and grip just a little bit as the mug turns. Well, it from... can't be carried. So it has to be when he sets it down. Oh. Unless you want to rule the cool. No, it's going to be real cool. <laughs> cool. So you're, well, I'm going to say it's probably on the table. He's just holding by the handle. And as you do, you just feel your hand kind of loosen just a little bit as the 24-ounce mug becomes a 46 <laughs> mug filled with ale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it stonks. I don't think I'll need those extra drinks anymore. <laughs> Hi! No funny business. <laughs> Ruining his company. <laughs> I like it. No, just like messing with him. Yeah, charge you double. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't touched mine hey, yet. No, no. Still. You're, uh, I'm not buying more drinks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, chug, chug, chug. 
Yes. Don't do right. so, Are we drinking game or not? Yes. Yeah. Alright, I'll need con saves from both of you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Wait, LR2, <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I still need con saves. 16. Okay. 26. Ooh. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, so you're both able to just chug down this ale and hold it really, really tight. But Riel, you feel your body start to shift and change again as you become... Large oh, in size. Okay, oh, no. hold on. I'm no longer a rolling creature. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. What? What save is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you need to clarify what you're casting on me, I will never be a rolling creature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a con save. All right. I need another con save. Okay. One for the ale. Oh my god. That, so that, the second one's in like that one. Which, uh, <laughs> I love it! Can it be a reduce? Oh, you're gonna shrink him? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Never mind. Alright. So you feel your body start to punify. And you become itty little bitty. He's now in You are now You are now three foot tall. I immediately pull out my god <laughs> am, I, am I gnome size or am I like You're halfling size. So you're three foot you're size. three foot tall. Okay. Yes. Three yeah, we'll we'll, we'll split the difference because you're seven foot, right? Yeah, I believe. I okay, so yeah, so you're so you're in between the height of a halfling and a dwarf. So you're three and a half, four foot you're tall. Short. Six. Six, nine, specifically. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so you're halfling dwarf size. <laughs> you're short. Short step. Because I'm 5'5". Five, five. It doesn't affect the constitution, so I don't no. need to. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't say... No, it doesn't change anything. It just makes you itty bitty <laughs> compared to where you were. You look good in the nail now. Actually, no, it, do, it does make them small, right? Uh, it, it takes your size category moves either up or down one. Yeah, so medium the... to small. Oh no, I guess you would be gnome size, technically. <laughs> yeah, you're only two foot. Sorry, now that I'm thinking about it, no, you are only two foot tall. Still. <laughs> yeah, I, he's got. I mean, it shrinks all the other equipment too, right? Yeah, every yeah everything else on you is tiny. <laughs> My battle axe that used to be like five feet six feet long. Is now also only two feet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna... I'm gonna whack Manfred pretty hard. Mm, <laughs> you're gonna try. Um, With the blunt in. <laughs> Are you still doing your drinking competition? <laughs> Wait, I drink it and then you shrunk me. Uh, oh, okay, no. Oh, I mean... It's just gonna be a toothpick at this point. <laughs> Alright, so I guess... I'm, I'm, yeah. You're, like wha like just you're whacking for non-lethal. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's gonna try to he's gonna try to basically hit you in the hit you in the kneecap. I'm guessing. Okay. <laughs> gonna whack you in the kneecap. I'm gonna go full out. I'm gonna go like dra the dragon slayer mode, where I like leap over, but because I'm a no, I'm only jumping two, three feet <laughs> <laughs> at most. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just for brevity's sake, roll to hit him. I'm, I'm on, of course, raging. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so let me gosh. make sure I'm doing that. Features traits. Uh, two. Rage. And then, what's it? That is a twenty-two. Oh, that would hit. Okay. Are you are you trying to do are you trying to do damage or are you just trying to like pop him? I mean hurt him, but not like I said, it's the blunt him, <laughs> so maybe like half damage of what I roll would be fine. Yeah, half da yeah, we'll say half damage of what you roll. If you're attacking me, I'm definitely counterattacking. I mean 
Alright, that's five damage. Wait, no, because it's plus three. Uh, round of half, uh, up or down. Well, so five plus three would be eight, right? No. Are you... It's, are you it's, oh, we're gonna roll, we'll do it down. We'll do, we'll do down to two. Are you right, so taking account of the half size, um, changing your your damage as well? Since we did not do that with the margin, I would say we'll be unprepared to do it with the reduce. Yeah. Fair okay. enough. He's wanting to head home. You can head home, Dylan. We're probably going to call it in a little bit. It does go say right in the spell that their attacks are reduced by 1d4. Yeah, right? My shoulder popped out whenever I was lifting up drywall today. I literally had to thing of drywall up over and my shoulder went... Oh, wait. It does actually quite well was fun. I forgot what this actually is. So, after 13 point fifty seven uh, 17. Mm -hmm. And then you yeah, said yeah, mine has 84 damage? Yeah, it's because of the spell. I just didn't the spell. The I was just like, I'll be fine in like a day or so. Alright. Still six, yeah. then. Okay. Fair enough. I will take six. I assume you know what to do when it comes to those injuries. I just don't lift anything. <laughs> don't, don't, lean don't lean on it. Don't lean on it. Yes. All right. Rice! Hot rice! Not hot rice. Rice? Just rice? rice. You rice. hit me, I hit you. Compression, elevation. I thought you meant rice in the sock. I was no, like, I not, have that! <laughs> not rice in a sock. Hot rice! Well, yes, warm rice, yeah. Yeah. To, to relax it. Uh, yeah. And then, after, after you wax, Manfred... And I don't know, shoulder or something like that. It's like, would you actually do this again? <laughs> <laughs> I love your I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to ping him with a fireball. Like, no! <laughs> right. Zap. Roll to zap him. Well, eight corners. Uh, 17. I believe that hits. Yeah. Okay. Well, there went my drinking, buddy. I mean, no, it's not. But. No, it's not going to be giving clothes to lethal. I oh, know. Uh, ten fire damage, please. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you can't even go for the non-lethal. So, oh, you, you, like, you dinged me, I dinged you. Fair, fair game. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also probably say if you hit me with your axe, you probably heard a ding as well. I'd say so, yeah. Little vibration in the handle. What did I hit a metal joint? What? <laughs> you hit metal when you hit him. Yeah, it went ding. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Is like, he wearing metal armor? <laughs> I, I, if you agree to be non-violent, I will, no, I will I'm return your size to you. I'm looking at Manfred. Is he wearing? <laughs> Give me a perception. <laughs> Why did I hit him in the shoulder? There's a very metal there. <laughs> I'll roll perception. <laughs> Fourteen. I would say pass, yeah. I would pass say perception of sixteen. Well, I would say I would say with the fourteen, just because you did hit you, you heard the you heard the clang. You can you can tell him yay or nay. Um. <laughs> You, you see that there are certain areas under my robe that are a little bulkier than other parts. <laughs> did I hit metal or not? <laughs> yes, yes, you hit metal. You hit some, you did hit some type of armor, yes. <laughs> under my robe. <laughs> You're a strange man, man. You're a strange man. Uh, Anyway, we're all the strange, two, aren't we? The bartender uh, is like, you want to go to this? The drinking guy? So the as he's talking, I want to change his size. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you best of <laughs> Can I do that? Yeah. I'll return his size. No, it's just drop concentration. Yeah. yeah. So as you're talking, it's going to go from, like, the high pitch to regular. <laughs> okay. okay, hold on. Let okay. me let me act it out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we have a typical drinking guy? Or... <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Very pubescent. As he goes, as he goes from three foot tall to seven foot yeah. tall again. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 
Manfred, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 I like you I'm guys. Sure, I did, yeah. so it's only possible that I'd be a drop concentration immediately, but that's fine. Oh, yeah, I could have. No, it's totally fine. Okay. We'll, we'll say you did it. <laughs> yeah. No. I love it. I like you guys. Yes. <laughs> we'll, we like you too. At this point, I will drink some. <laughs> <laughs> Your ale's are, not. Are you? <laughs> I, I am being quite serious. Either kick him out. For at least an hour, or I'm gonna head out for a bit. <laughs> Wait, what? He felt a sauce. This is speaking to the bartenders, like, it is. You don't mess with a lizard folk that way. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> I mean, he's complaining. It was kind of funny. Come on, have a drink, enjoy, laugh, it's funny! Ha <laughs> ha! So, I'm assuming you're. Giving up on the drinking? Uh-oh. No. No. I'm going to And then, of course, drop rage. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. But still, yeah. pissed off. How many drinks? I had two drinks so far. Yeah. Other my other okay. one. Just sipping. Just so, let me finish the massive mug. You finish your tiny mug. <laughs> you finish your tiny mug. <laughs> you hear me, man? You're the one who challenges the seven foot guy. Yeah, equally. <laughs> your mug is only that big mug. because he enlarged it. I will have you know. You can just tell him he was the size of a good right. for a second. We're still <laughs> drinking. More concepts. Yeah. More cupses. More concepts. More concepts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was starting to do the drinking, but... 18. But okay. I'm sipping. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, you're trapping uh-huh. Still feel pretty good. Okay. Another. Another! More cut saves! 22. 10. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Laura is starting to waver. Uh-oh. Four drinking! Christmas or uh, Oh hell no. I am just getting started, sir. This is just a warm up. Wait, ooh, you sleep. Get out of my face. How about a twenty-two? I hate how it rolled low every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's twenty two. You're both feeling pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Twenty-six over eighty-five. Mm. Sixteen. Eleven. Laura starting to waver again. How long, how much do we owe to our tabs already? <laughs> this um, is like roll seven, I think. I'll take it. Uh, you'd be at let's see, one gold per drink. So. Oh, 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 Fourteen for me again. Eighteen. Still both feeling good. Alright. Okay. They're just going up to the bartender. Are you giving us water or are you giving us the real stuff here? Well, I'm giving you good stuff. You want the better stuff? 18. <laughs> the better stuff. Alright. That'd be two gold right. for the better stuff. Bring out the grub. <laughs> it's on her tab if she uh, loses. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. 18. 17. Mm-hmm. You're both feeling a little queasy. Queasy. I haven't heard that in right. a long time. Uh, I imagine now, <laughs> since the hardest <laughs> stuff, it's harder con. Yep. 21. Oh, no. oh 13. Uh, Riel, you're definitely feeling it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I still go. This is, yeah. I, 21. Yeah, this is common for me. <laughs> Stop rolling single digits. This is, I've been rolling single digits. For the last, like, five years. <laughs> 14. 14? <laughs> you're, you're, you're definitely starting to feel it, Rio. I'm like, going until I pass out. <laughs> <laughs> What did you get, Laura? 22! 
Stop! <laughs> <laughs> there we go, 23. <laughs> oh, Alright, Rio's like, I got this! <laughs> What'd you roll? 11. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. I think what well, we're like three bad ones. Yeah. So far, yeah, each. Alright, none of us has passed out yet, so we're gonna keep What'd going. you get? <laughs> I got a 23. Okay. So Laura's starting to feel <laughs> groggy. Again? Yep. <laughs> again? Get out of here. 23 again. Am I? 15. <laughs> yeah. You're starting to starting to really feel it. Okay. You look a little bit green there, miss. So do you, green face? Oh, he's not green, though. I'm literally blue. <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> head! Why <laughs> What is that? <laughs> 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 Disadvantage. <laughs> oh, I should have started with advantage, I feel like, but. Uh, Alright. I, I definitely have slurred speech now. Yes. Definitely. No, great face. Come on, do Another. Stop. <laughs> 21. Yep. 21? Yeah. With, that's the disadvantage roll? Oh, wait. Oh, oh no. I <laughs> know. Oh, yeah, still 21. Nice! <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Where's my hair tie? It's gone. What? Uh, I don't have my hair tie. Ow. <laughs> 19. <laughs> I was like, what the Okay. First one is a 25, followed by a 13. Okay. Um, I'm going to say... At this point, Riel, you're you're not doing too hot. Uh -oh. Like you're almost falling out of your chair. At this point, <laughs> until I pass out, when someone stops me. I can keep on going. All right. Can I help him stay in his seat? <laughs> you can try. I'm gonna help you stay in your seat. Stay still. I'm gonna like put what do you do? Keep him in the seat with my back. Okay, 24, 24. It was not 20, I just put mm, that down. 17. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm? Riel, as you sip, as you take this last sip and you toss your mug onto the table, you look at Laura and you feel Thulna just kind of hold your body up. I need you to give me a strength check, please. <laughs> okay. I got you. I got you, King. Give me a second. <laughs> Oh, wait, not me. No, not you. Need, <laughs> need okay. Thulna. Strength. Strength. Mark. Check. Oh, okay. I hate when, like, game mechanics just, like, does not match biology. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, as you're, as you're sitting there, and you're holding your, and you drop your ale, or your grog, I should say, you look, and Thula goes like, I got you! And goes to hold you, and as she does, you're just like... Ugh. And just slunk out of your chair, hitting the ground hard. Completely knocked out. <laughs> you're staying there awkwardly. I'm curiosity. Was I still drinking the, like, twice the massive drug the mug this entire time? Uh, no, that, that shrunk back down. It's bad. Sad. <laughs> no. I win. His tab. It's on his tab since I lost. Or win. Uh, <laughs> I can't pay for it. I'm passed out. <laughs> you know we stay the night, right? Nor, nor do I. Don't think I have any money. But you don't know that. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. I don't have enough money. Let's say that. <laughs> we'll we'll settle tabs in the morning. You guys are fun. Woo! <laughs> Mom. Come drink with me. Bye, guys. <laughs>
Let's do this! Hurry! I'm gonna use the restroom. I don't know how long the session will last any longer, but I'm using Come on! We'll be quick! Give me a second. Wait, Turkey. Yes. You want to have your finest meal offer. Yeah. Appreciate it. Ready? Mm hmm. Good. You want Good. the strong stuff? Oh, yes, I want the strong stuff. Strong. 20. Mm, that one. <laughs> Out. <laughs> That's how it ends! How cold? Not even, not even going to I had, I had a few parts. <laughs> no! He goes in the back. Um, Gohan yep. and brings out this this flat I just start dough drunkily running around with that a works. red sauce and cheese and, and I won, holding just up a bunch my of meat drink. toppings and just lays it down and it's like I believe you all invented this the it's last time fun. you were here it's very much fun yes. I, like it, 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 I, it, I called it a uh, lasagna today I liked how pizza. I no pizza that's right Yes, pizza. Uh, that's good, yes, I like it. <laughs> pizza and good job. It's a it's a fan favorite. Fan you just fan. see this drunk person running around saying, "I won." She was out in one. It was funny because I was holding the nat one up, and then it came out nat one. I was like, it didn't even roll, did it? <laughs> <laughs> but I like you all. It's fun, and I think you all need to go to bed. Woo! <laughs> I agree. Who's gonna take Riel and pull him upstairs? Woo! <laughs> I will. You're right. No, you're right. I'm right. <laughs> I was like, who's gonna take Riel then? Okay. Yeah, I'll just leave him. He's fine. I was like, you can reduce him. Grab I'll him. take you. Okay. Strength check? <laughs> oh, can I have a room for two beds? Yeah. Ah. Four. <laughs> 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 yes, you can have a room with what? some available. You don't have to. Uh, yes. No, <laughs> Are you wanting breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. I'm joking. I'd say you, you should be able to pick up Thulna and carry her at least. Yeah, somewhat. Slunken, drunk body. I like to. I like to imagine just a small wooden. It'll just take time. This human and halfway up the stairs, you drop her, and she just goes down the stairs, and you have to like. <laughs> She's just like, ah, where'd my head hurt? Way harder than usual. <laughs> I dropped you down the stairs, sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, Alright, so, everybody going off to bed. Yes. And. With your pizza. Yes, with your pizza. Yes. And then a long rest. Yes, you can all gain the benefits of a long rest. I'm not dying. No and that is where I think <laughs> we will call it for the evening. Yeah. Ah! That was great.